Hey, YouTube. Uh, is uh, foundation sealed. Uh, I'm going to play with both cap 7. I'm going to go ahead and start with a forest. We'll tap that and play a mild mannered librarian. I've seen it. It's okay. so good. I, I'm going to see how it goes. Pass turn. I predict that that's going to be a fantastic card. Yeah. Swamp go. Is either that or it's going to die very <laughs> unceremoniously. Yeah. Draw for turn. All right. We're going to go ahead and play a planes, and then a card that I only just now realized um, I don't know if I have any other elves in my deck. I'm going to play a Dwin's Elite, so I don't get another 1-1. One, one. Okay. But I'll go to combat and attempt to hit for 1. Oh, man. Thank you. Pass turn. <laughs> planes. And the Sanguine Siphoner. Oh, okay. 1-3. Yep. Dex. Drains 1. Each opponent, but yep. it's not multiplayer. So. Gonna be a uh, probably a bomb and two-head giant. We will play a planes as I have turn. I think my play line is this. We're gonna pay three, and we're gonna play felling blow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put one more counter on him. Yeah. And then hit him for three. Then it's going to work. And then we'll go ahead and swing for four total. Fifteen. Pass turn. Helpful Kitty. hunter. Draw a card. And it was a swamp. Pass it back. See, you know, you have me conflicted now, because if I swing into you, you can just throw a, a cute kitten in the way, and that's going to make me feel bad. That's what I was hoping. Oh, you know, it's just, it's a very difficult decision, and it, it will actually probably make me play this um, earlier than I wanted to, just for the, at least the discouragement of having not ki to not kill a cat. I'm going to go ahead and tap two and play a Gnarled Colony. All right. I don't know how a card with this much text is a common. Uh, so it has kicker three, which I didn't do, but that gives it two one one counters. Each, oh, other, yeah. each creature I control with a one one counter on it has trample. Yes. That is a very nice effect on a two two with kicker. Um, it was from the last landfall set with all the. Was this printed before? Yep. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. I know there was the. the there's no, it's the, a reprint from the. Um, there's Endicar. Reborn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know there's the, the roaring um, whatever in Kamigawa. Yep. But I'm going to go combat. I'm gonna swing a three-three trample. The kitten is not he's not feeling brave. Yeah, yeah. So it's only one, he's not worth it. <laughs> Fast turn. Um yeah, I don't like keeping my tap stuff in the middle of my tap stuff. Sounds going on. I'm gonna go with the Dazzling Angel. Yeah. 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 Good old line. And that is unfortunately not a land. Okay, we're both stuck on three. All right. It, it might just not never transform. <laughs> um. Okay, so I will go to combat, swing a 3-3. Three, three. And it's good. All right. Uh, and then I'll pass turn. Defensive flying angel. And then I'm going to go with the Marauding Blight Priest. So I, I gain a life, which yes. means you lose a life. Yeah. 19. And my now big worry is you have <laughs> the infinite life swap combo. <laughs> go. All right. I will untap. Draw. Okay. That is. Oh no. I right. went. <laughs> Well, it's probably good for you, but oh no. We're going to activate it. We'll, we're going to see. We'll make a second 3-3. Three, three. Oh. 
the Might team. have trample, which means at least one gets through, but you have a 3-2-2 three, two, two there. You can block and swap across and keep the creature alive. A two for two trade isn't great for me, so I'm going to actually pass the turn. Well, still no wins for me. So instead, I will elect for more shenanigans. Marauding Blight Priest number two. So I gain one, and then you lose two. Yeah. No reach, no nothing reach. that fun. In the air for two. I uh, go to 15. Here we go. On top. Come out, we're gonna have lunch. Uh, All right, so three, three, and a, and a two? Yes, so eight total. So I'll block there. Okay. Uh, in response to blocks, I will go ahead and pay a green, and I'm gonna giant growth because you said it was great uh, bomb or big I'm gonna go with the Mount Mayor Mar Librarian. Yeah. I mean, it's already done its awesome thing. Oh, yeah, right? and now it's getting, getting yeah. bigger, so. Um, so, it will live. live and it'll push four through, so it'll be six through, and these two will trade. Uh, Ow. Um, Who knew Garland Colony was going to be the, the true problem? I honestly, I just I see that each creature with one one has, yeah. has trample. I'm like, everything just gets through. Um, I think. I think, yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm, before my end up, I'm gonna go ahead and just destroy your angel. So, you have two less mana to cast because it's tapped, yeah. Um, and then I'll pass turn. Everyone's dying all over the place. Oh, the fourth land! Uh oh. So, part of me is wonder, worried that we actually do have the same pool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking No, you're thoughts. good. You are totally good. The fiendish panda, the bear demon. Yeah. Go. Hunt. That would have been way better if I just still had the dazzling angel. Yeah. Draw. All right. Well, that would be a land for turn. See, I'm, I'm worried about the fact that you have a bunch of cards in hand, and you did just hit four mana. Um, I'm going to keep doing all I can, and we'll go to combat, and we will uh, go to flunge again. All right. Um, so still 3-3? Three, three? Yep. All right. Well, I, got a, I got a block, so it's not right. to die to tramp out. No, uh, no responses, so right. go Everything ahead. Everything dies? Gnarled, uh, so then... Gnarled lips, right? Oh, a, yeah. One, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. But then, my stuff. So I get to get a non-bear. Yep. With a three or less mana value back yep. into play. Uh, second main phase? Second main. I'm going to tap six. That's a lot. Yeah, but it's a guarded air. I don't know how I feel about it. It makes bodies. Um, I it have, does. Here is a knight and a knight. Okay. <laughs> Ignore the fact that it looks like Kaido and a zombie. Yeah, it's an interesting way to put seven power on board. I opted not to play it. I was like, it's a little... 
<laughs> it's it's my top end, but I'm like, you know what? If you get that far into a game like this, bodies are good. So I'm gonna kick the sun blessed healer yeah. and return the helpful yeah. hunter. Yeah. So I draw a card. Gain two life. Yep. Oh, there's wow. the fifth one. I am. Pass. Wishing I had such a cool kitty. On town. Draw. Well, that's. Turn. Late. Another way together. Targeting. There and there. Before damage. I guess, yeah, uh, we'll go to combat and we're going to swing just the two 3-3 three, three knights. All right. Uh, so a sun blessed healer in front of one of them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the helpful hunter will, will just, yeah, jump it. just jump. Okay. All right, so one will trade, the other will kill a cat. Um, second main phase, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play my own Dazzling Angel. All right. Would have been great prior to the card of air. Pass turn. Is that one card in your hand there? Yeah, there's one card in my hand. How about Burglar Rat? What's that do? You discard a card. Okay. I honestly wasn't sure if I was ever going to play it. Day of Judgment? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I was like. I worried you have the same pool as me because if you do, you're going to board wipe. Yep. <laughs> and then the Prideful Parent? Yeah. Yep, yep. Gain two more. And then uh, you also now have a flyer, so pass back. Sounds good. Untap. Draw. Oh, actually, I guess I was wrong. I did have a cat. Helpful Hunter. Oh, okay. I will gain a life from my Dazzling Angel, and I will draw a card. Well, that's a card. Um, Kitty back. I'll go to combat and swing house. All right, so... Three, three. Mm -hmm. One, ones. Um, I gotta go for the block here. Okay, so... Show four, me the nonsense. Four damage. The top deck of Kitty into Claws Out? Oh, Creatures I could go get plus two, plus two, and yeah, one absolutely. cost one absolutely. less. So, yeah. Uh, none of my stuff has trampled, though. No. Uh, so it would just be the four from this in the air. Yeah, but everybody dies over here. Yes. So now if you do have a day judgment, it is an amazing play because, um, yeah, that's a lot of bodies. I'll pass her. I have one more. I have nothing to extra cards. I need to be to be able 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 Turns he strike. gives plus one plus one counter creatures first strike, but only on okay. my turn. Pass back. Untap. <laughs> Draw. Uh, yeah, go to combat. Swing everything. Nine lives is just a great blocker. Alright, so I'm gonna flash in the Cathar Commando. Yeah. I'm gonna block like such. Okay. So that'd be two, four, four. You don't have life rank. So I think just the correct play because I have to play. play. I'm gonna go ahead and put a. Um, oh, actually. Oh, I can actually make that lethal. That's better. I'm gonna go ahead and use fleeting flight onto the knight. 
So it gives him a 1-1 counter, which gives him trample. Yeah. Oh, and that's a spell effect, not an enchantment. So Correct, yes, this is an instant. I can't uh, get rid of it using right. that. All right, yeah, yeah. So that's it. At first, I was like, oh, I'll just do it to make sure my creature is like, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a counter, not just plus one, plus one to end a turn. Consult the sideboard briefly. Understandable. I would, but I have pretty much exactly enough cards to make a deck of these colors. I had 20, effect, well, I said technically like 28 for, is it? But when you looked at it for prowess, it was exactly 24, and this one was 24, I think, too. I, they have been printing a lot of those, especially the two drop. I hate it. Like it's okay at a one drop. The the bell from uh, Bloomboro, I felt was okay yeah. because it put it on top and then gave you the, the extra mana was to draw it. Yeah. And that is really good too because you can also play it and then don't search and then just draw a card. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I really like the bell for that one, but the, this the creature ones I have just not cared for. Really. I wouldn't have put him in here if I realized it's top. Yeah. So. Um, and that, the weird thing is too is two drops generally are okay to bring the hand from the general average spells for standard. I mean, Bushwhack brings the hand. That's only one. So it's a whole number, like. Right? But you're not yeah, getting no, you're not getting an onboard. Bob, yeah, yeah. So well, yeah. There's other like if, if it was a one one or maybe a oh one because there are green creatures that do the same thing, a body like a small yeah. body and get a land, but. Again, that one goes to the top of the hand with the creatures do put them in. That goes to the top of the deck with the creatures yeah. put them in hand. So there's some trade-offs yeah. there. Yeah. And I just... But like the, in the set with all the parties, the, all the class stuff. Uh, uh, Dominary visited with her, you know, okay. wizards and your, you know, yeah, yeah. everything. Yep, yep. The, the two-mana artifact guy that was all creature types and, and did that. Mm -hmm. and it was really playable because it, it would fix your colors and then you had like a, you know, a blocker or it, something. But There are definitely like, sets. two-mana colorless draw a card, like search yeah. your deck for a land into your hand, that card would be like an auto-include. You know. Right, except but Bloomboro had the had the one drop artifact that paid one. You pay one sack. Yes, no, no. I, I, see, I think that's, but that and, doesn't leave a creature behind. Uh, I think is the right, difference. right. So yeah, no, I like the fountain. But the that a lot. Put, that put a permanent into the grave, sure which was did, incredibly which was, important. Yes. <laughs> I feel like it was almost more. Yes. I, I think it was almost more powerful in that set than yes. a, a body left behind. But yeah, my. Uh, it depends on the set. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Because it, if, especially with start getting, a th if a set has more draw, in general, where oh, putting a land on top of the deck doesn't necessarily throw it, slow you down. Because yeah, you guarantee the draw, but now you hit the three drop, which guarantees you another draw and things like that. It works out really well. Oops, sorry. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. And I will confirm I'm going first. Yep. Got it. Seven. Right. Nice. I'll keep this. I can. Maybe, I can keep this. Yeah. Swamp go. Right. I will play a planes and I will pass the turn. Planes. Burglar rat. Please discard a card. Ouch. Um, huh. I think as good as it was last game, I discarded guard of air. 
Alright, my turn. Yep. Draw. Not super what I necessarily wanted, but that's fine. Two mana, I will play a kitty. I'll draw a card. Yeah. And I'll pass one. Smooth. Burglar rat, coming in hot. Attempt to trade. Alright, cool. Cat versus the rat. Prideful parent. Yep. Cat tokens, go. Uh, I will play a land for turn. That is three damage. That's not too terrible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap three. I'm going to play a Heraldic Banner on green. All right. And then I will pass the turn. Cathar Commando. Sacrifice to destroy that artifact. Rude. Three. I'll take three. Yes, yeah, 17. Yep. Mm -hmm. Draw. Okay. Combat. Hey, land. So it doesn't hurt too bad. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and pay four, and we will kick a Sun Blast Healer. And like you did, I'll get a kitty back. That is an excellent play. And when I get the kitty back, I will draw a card. And that will be it. Pastor? I'm gonna go with the fiendish panda. Mm-hmm. Best it's so mean. Whenever you gain life, you don't want to gain life at the moment, but the problem is you can gain life very easily. It's scary, but I think we're going to go with this anyway. So we're going to pay three, and we're going to play our own prideful parent. All right. And uh, I'm going to have the key token. Moment. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then, um, because your 1-1 one -one trades my 3-1, I don't like that, so I'll pass her. Yep. So commander or burglar rat, either one of those could come back. Target number with mana value less than or equal to yeah. So you get commander or burglar rat if you got a burglar rat. Okay. And if you do kill them both, then that will be in the graveyard to be able to be brought back by the by the trigger. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> um, it's less of a trade that way. I know. I'm gonna go ahead though and put this here, and we'll go ahead and throw a cat in front of a cat, even though my cat will get run over. Okay. All right. So that'll be blocks. Claws out. Okay. So in response, yep. I will pay one, and I will 
fleeting flight the blessed healer. So it's gonna prevent, he's gonna one one counter. Yep. He gets flying and doesn't matter, but also prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to it this turn. My, this cat is gonna get steamrolled over. Yeah, it does but take him up that to should four, still so, yep. yep. Okay, so that will still die. And, uh, and then I will bring back Burglar Rep. Please discard a card. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will go ahead and discard the Day of Judgment. Again? <laughs> yeah, that's I, I had it, and I'm like, you know what? I don't mind a slow hand this time, because if you just get out really, really quick, I can just wipe and call it good. And, and then you play a creature and remove, which just started going one for one with my board. I'm like, no, <laughs> stop removing the I needed, I needed the artifact. It was the way I was hitting five mana. Um, so one one two two one one. And he's a four two. I will play a forest. And I believe my correct play at the moment is five mana and play a Armasaur Guide. So Vigilance, when I attack with three or more creatures, put one a one one counter on target creature. creature. Yeah, target creature I control. Alright, so if no responses, I'll go to combat. Yep. We'll swing with three. He's vigilance, so I will put a one-one counter onto my vigilance kitty. So four two, one one, three three. Here and there. Yep. Alright. So these die. Yep. My kitty dies. You'll take three. Actually, I hope you don't mind. I'll yeah. <laughs> take mine back since I realize I have a cat now. <laughs> um, and then I will pass the turn. Dazzling Angel. Yeah. Not correct sequence, but that's alright. Go ahead. I'm just concerned. <laughs> I'm going to play a planes as they for turn. And I'm going to, I don't know if this is the right play. I'm going to tap five. Yeah, I'm going to play my good friend from last game, Narlid Colony, but get Hey! He's going to come in a 2 one counter, so he'll be a 4-4 trample. But he is some sick. You have the ability to trade to both of my creatures that could attack, and I don't get my cool trigger. So I, I'm going to pass and hope I don't just get my stuff blown up. We'll see. See what I can do. Change my plans at all. Play a land for turn. I want to do this. I guess we have to just encourage the most dangerous way we can. Three mana. I'm going to Blanchwood Armor the Armasaur Guide. Okay. What so, is your forest count? Four. So, that's going to give him plus four, plus four. So, it he's sure eight at the moment. Yeah. 
go to combat. Yeah. We will swing everything, trigger, put a 1-1 one, one counter on himself, so now they all have trample because of Gnarly Colony. That is, those are all true facts. Yeah. No. I'm going to block like that. Okay. Uh, so, it's going to be... Uh, we'll do three and one. And then uh, yeah. trades here. And then you'll take uh, nine. Yeah. Oh. And I am Hellback, so I'll pass her. Yeah, that's uh, one copy of it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely picked red green. Which one? Do you have a land war over two or no? What's the phrase? Better lucky than good. That hey, that's pretty much why I was last game as well. I top decked the cat Kick into the closet. Yep. Yep. Pay yep. hey, the one. Blow up the. Oh yeah. No, I can. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I can block with it first. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Am I go. Yeah. All right. Who knows what? There's a second Narlet colony. I mean, all right, then I'd have to do it pre-combat. Uh, well, there's no no main phase attack. I, I will go to combat, and I will swing a 9-9 uh, no. Vigilance uh, at you. All right, so... There is... Got one card. I'm going to take another each. I always go two, but usually my second is like, okay, the other colors I have. Block. Yep. Stack it. Destroy it. Yep. No more trample. No more trample. Uh, and then I will pass it. That is lifelink. That's very important text to realize. I think we missed it both game one and in mine yeah. earlier. We'll remember it in the future. I, it's even better than it was. Yeah. I was like, it's just bringing like, things back. It's, wow. It's, it's kind of Narwood territory where it's just like, wait, with how much? Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that, I know now uh, what I did not know before. Uh, no combat. Yep. I'm going to play Midnight Snack uh, just to get it on the board. So it has raid, make a food token. Okay. And then three, sack it, target, opponent loses X life, or X is the amount of life you've gained this turn. Okay. Okay. I was worried it was going to be something like yeah. X is the number of cards in your grave or something. Okay. All right. My turn? Yep. Draw. Uh, this would be a very important draw if I still had a Blanchard armor. <laughs> Go to combat. Vigilance will swing. Block with both. Okay, so four damage. Pay one. I'm going to attempt to snake and veil him to give him another one more counter. Oh, that's pretty good. So I still gain my three life. Yes, you have to still gain the three life. He is technically at one toughness at the moment. Um, but I got no other damage, so I will pass the turn. Yeah, unfortunately, that does not protect my wife with armor. Yeah. So, I don't have a Day of Judgment, Oops, but I always. do have Blasphemous Edict. Sacrifice 13 creatures. <sighs> I'll, I'll sacrifice him 13 times. Okay. <laughs> Go. Hard of the cards. Draw for turn. Okay. It is a playable card. That's effectively hard of the cards here. Um, we're going to tap four. We'll play a Treetop Spinner. That's Spinner. quite good, actually. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll pay three. Three, and yeah. we'll put a 1 1 counter on him because X is a sorcery speed only. Oh, and pass turn. It's the Blight Priest. Yeah. Let's not have vigilance. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Go. 
Uh, is it huge and going to get bigger? Absolutely. Yeah. It's kind of going to be his thing. And be a reach depth toucher, yeah. So, that's a question. Did you need the land? Yeah. Have a nice six. Yeah. So we commit to our mana out on the board. Sorry, it's three mana, not yeah, three four mana. Four. Uh, so put two, two and right. then we will go ahead and leave. Uh, okay. You've got to tap two green. Did you guys have? Uh, yeah. So oh, four yeah, forests. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Um, I was just like, we'll leave a Celestio yeah. and, um, to put it, like, one counter on him, and then we'll go ahead and swing it, four with my four seven. Down draw. to Ocho. And then I'll pass turn. And then, so we had to have Matt change it. Oh. And then, but it kicked him out. <laughs> I stayed in, kicked him out, he had to re-log in. It's, oh. it's not a pre-release without Companion completely throwing a fit. Yeah, exactly. Rude combat. Yeah. Swing in for three. No bucks. Okay. Nine lives familiar. Okay. I'm at the food token. Oh, second like main phase. Okay. Yeah, so end of the turn. So yeah, I was like, was this a combat trick? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, I was just, I was doing the three. Good, yeah, so good. after that, yeah, then I... So, oh yeah, what, it just comes back after nine times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Food token. Yep. Yo. See, that's really annoying, because that means it can just block a whole bunch of times. So many times. Yeah, so that means I'm going to need more more things. Uh, draw for turn. Land. So we're at, we're at pivot here a little. We're going to tap four mana again, but this time it's going to be for a squad rallier. So he's three mana. Look at yes. the top four. I can pick a reveal a creature, two or less among them, put it into my hand, the rest go in the bottom of my library. I will go ahead and pay uh, three, leaving open again the Selesnia, and we will do just that. One, two, three, four. I will reveal a mild-mannered librarian. And the rest go on the bottom of the order. You know, cut it. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and play the librarian. Uh, Sounds good. Combat swing of 4 7. Uh, block with the cat. Yes. <laughs> so the, uh, beginning of the next so it's supposed step, to right? have eight counters on it. I oh, it comes in with that. eight? Yeah. Okay. So then. Um, oh, God. So yeah, so at your end step, it's going to come back with seven. Yep. That'll be your turn. Uh, move combat. Yeah. That smells like a combat trick. No blocks. All right. Perfect one. Go to 12. And then, uh, I'm step and get a food. I think I actually wanted you to block it so it would come back. That's what I was thinking you wanted. It was, it, I'm like, I, That's a food token. I'm like, if it comes back, I mean, sure, it loses a counter, but again, if you have a combat trick, that's just not good for me. I've done quite a few of them tonight, so. Yeah. My turn? Yep. All right. Untap. Draw. Top deck to Nerland. So, let's pile the man up a little bit here. I could technically activate everything once, but we're going to start with activating the Librarian. And put the two on one It's a good first choice. Uh, then we'll go ahead. Draw your card. Oh, it's a draw card. I think I might have missed that last game, too. No, you did. Yeah. Um, doesn't change what I want to do right now. Three mana, I'm going to activate the Rallier. Yep. I have the chance for some card advantage. You need to take it before things die for. Um, oh, I kind of wish I would have uh, not hit one of those cards. Uh, Dwayne's Elite will be revealed. I'm going to go ahead and just keep that in hand. Um, and then to keep it up, we'll go ahead and put an arc counter here. All right. And then, oh man, what kind of combat triggers? What do you have? Something scary. You got something probably with flash. Probably a flash blocker. So I guess let's just see what it is. We'll go to combat and we will swing everything. All right. Uh, you correctly identified the flash blocker, the Herald of the Eternal Dawn. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, so we're going to block the 3-4, the the not the 3-3. Three, three. Yep, yep. You will die. The good news is, I have something that can kill that. <laughs> it's just tapped at the moment. 
Um, and then I will pass to um, her. And uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take the eight and go yes, to yes, zero, yeah, yeah. and I do not lose. Yep. And okay. then I kill you on my turn. Do you have an, uh, I'm at 12. I see there's... You have... Uh, target opponent loses X life, or X is of life you gained this turn. Oh, nice. I'm going to have yep. uh, two or three food you know, two food tokens, so that's six, nine, ten, uh, sixteen, uh, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I no, you're good. Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking to see, um, Ricard drew sign after his claws out, oh, but yeah. it wouldn't have changed the math at all because it was someone one not enough to yeah. kill your, your creature, so... The nine moves midnight snack. <laughs> Weird combo. Okay. I did get my rares this time, so nice. let's show them off. There are two rares in this deck. You've seen one of them twice. I haven't played it, but you've seen it twice. <laughs> Remembering that that two drop has lifelink. That's uh, yeah, that's pretty important. And for me, remembering that the the the, the the librarian has a draw card effect too. Yeah, yeah. I need to yeah, that's that. why that's <laughs> I, like like I got one of those, and I have the same spider guy. Yeah. And then I only have like like I have only like ten green cards, and so I'm like I really want to play them, but <laughs> I, I'm at like ten and eleven, like eleven and twelve ish roughly of yeah. like both. Like it's it's this one's pretty split down the middle. The the red blue deck I had was more blue. Yeah. But um. But and then my, I got three tap lands, but they were none of the colors I wanted to play together. Like, yeah. Because if I had like two tap lands within the green black white family, I would have like, yes, we are mashing this up. Yeah, the only land I drew or opened that I played is the Evolving Wilds, which I still haven't gotten out of yet. I also have yeah, Evolving Wilds very similar to us. Yeah, a lot of crossover. Yeah, I was literally, so I have a Pioneer Murphy deck, so I drew that cure, I put a cure, oh, like, nice. oh nice, this, this is going to be great, and then I'm like, I just don't think this deck's going to be able to fill its bin. Yes. Like, if I draw that turn 20, it probably wins me the game. But if I have that turn three, it probably does nothing. It does have the double loop, so like that is... Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, I, 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 my, uh, my promo was uh, Consuming Aberration. Oh, yeah. A fun card, just not really sealed playable. I'm going to play it. Yeah. All right. Again. Got it. All right. Dialing yeah. in the pinch seven off the top. Okay. So greedy. Uh, I'm going to probably lose and I'll keep it. Okay, well, I'm uh, not able to make that decision. i got to pitch this back. It's a late game. Uh, depends on what my top decks are. It may sure. may be a great idea. <laughs> I haven't done it often, but I have won off some mulligans to fire. Yeah, it's if something's unplayable, it's unplayable. Anything can happen. Yeah, that's your thing too. First one's I'd say additionally though, like sure you mulligan five. But your opponent's top three cards are lands. Yeah. So, hey, guess what? They didn't draw any gas. I mean, if you added that, that would have been yeah. One thing I realized with Foundations, I, well, I'm glad that they're having a core set like set again, is they can reprint from across the planes. No restrictions on that, so they actually don't have to stick with a plain flavor to reprint right. stuff. Good luck. <laughs> what up? Not I'm enough. sorry. It's game three. <laughs> All right. That's good. One to the bottom. Begin. All right. I'm going to start with a planes, and I'll pass the turn. Evolving wilds. Yeah. I'm going to go get a swamp. All right. I will untap draw. That's the card. I will tap two, and I'm going to play a non-kicked Gnarlid Colony. The dude. And I'm going to pass the turn back. Good. Sanguine. 
Twin Siphoner. Yep. On top. Draw. I got bailed out again. Um, what is the correct play on these? I think the correct play is to always apply pressure when possible. So we're going to tap two and hope you do not have your other guy again and play an Anthem of Champions, my other rare. Uh, he's going to get plus one, plus one, all creatures of my I do. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and swing a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Taking it, 17. Pass the turn. Well, swing in for the drain. Yep, I uh, will lose one. Actually, that was two, because you uh, actually get through two. You're a friend of mine, but not yeah, lives familiar. He'll be here for the rest of the game. And that last game, you can't have Draw. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tap three and play a creature that he can't block. Dazzling Angel. Uh, in a little bit of combat, and still sitting on three three, so you at least have to lose a life on that. To I'm assuming you can jump block. He's yep. no tra no trample on him. No one. Oh yeah, lose a, one of the counters. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, dies. Comes back with seven at your end step. Yep. And then I'll pass turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go get a while, so make yours. So Says reminder, she's at 3-4. Yep. Okay. Um, you either just want the drain, the raid. I still just don't like combat yeah, so tricks. The, the so thing triggers, so we do the game one, lose one. Yeah, yeah, so. Another draw, anything, all of my cards. I'm still terrified of the combat tricks, no blocks. Alright. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, Prideful parent. More yeah. tokens. Best turn. Hunt. Draw. Now I'm not getting bailed out. Um, well. We're gonna pay three, and uh, we're gonna start a race this way. We're gonna Blanche Wood Armor my Dazzling Angel. Uh, it's gonna be two from that, so she will be a five-six right. flying. Um, go to combat, swing a five-six fly. I cannot block the flyer, so 14. And then I'll pass her. Rotting Blade Priest. Yep. Move to combat? Yeah. Swing out. Uh, so I will lose a life, you'll gain a life, and then you'll, you'll gain life, so I lose another life. And yeah. 14. Uh, I'm going to have two blockers back anyways. We'll go ahead and trade on the, or attempt to trade on the kitty. Claws out. You got three cats? Oh yeah, that's cat, a cat. Cat, cat, cat. Yeah, is that lethal? Uh, you block, so it's not. Okay. So three, six, nine. Okay, so I go down to five. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, he looks. My turn. On top. Draw. Well, no, that's not too little too late. I guess, yeah, I, I didn't want to do that. But go to combat, swing uh, six. All right. Because that got another forest. Down to nine. No. <laughs> you cannot, Day of Judgment. Yeah, good game. I had all white in my hand and no second planes. If that was a planes, I could have Day of Judgment. Uh, 
Yeah, that being a cat. I was like, wait, I can play this and have two mana claws out. I, I forget. No one expects the two mana claws out. I always forget about Calder Familiar being a cat anyways, but I'm like, it's black. It's not going to be a cat. But there's... there's it's the black cat, yeah. There's... Um, Giga as well now as a Golgari cat and 